How to enter a hold, according to IKO Pan's Ops Flight Procedures. Aims. By the end of this video, you should know what hold entry sectors are defined under ICAO, how each hold entry is flown, and how to determine which hold entry to fly when approaching a hold. First of all, what are hold entry sectors? The aim of a hold entry is to establish the inbound track before the fix. Depending on where you are approaching from, the most efficient way to do this varies. IKO has made this easy for us by determining three distinct sectors. To visualize them, extend the inbound track past the fix. Draw a line perpendicular to the inbound through the fix. Then tilt this 20 degrees in the direction of the outbound turn. You now have your three sectors. There are three hold entry sectors. One is parallel. Two is offset. Three is direct. The entry you fly is based on your heading as you arrive at the fix, not directly position or track. Lastly, you have five degrees leeway between sectors, so you can, in some situations, decide which to fly. When determining which entry to fly, you must consider it from the airplane's perspective, rather than a plan view due to it being based on heading and not relative position. You can picture the aircraft as flying up from the bottom of the DI or HSI, then superimpose the hold to better understand. In flight, there is a better trick which I will teach you shortly. Consider in this case there is a strong wind from the east. The aircraft is due south of the holding fix, but in making a drift correction eastward to track 360 towards the fix, its heading places it in sector 2. Offset, where looking at its position may lead you to think it is in the direct sector, sector 3. So once we know which sector we are in, how do we fly the entries themselves? Firstly, sector 1, the parallel entry. The parallel entry involves two turns in the opposite direction to the hold. One, on reaching the fix, Turn in the opposite direction to the hold to free air track the reciprocal of the inbound course, paralleling the inbound course. Start a timer when wings level on this heading, and continue for one wind-corrected minute. At the end of the wind-corrected minute, make a further turn in the opposite direction to the hold to intercept the inbound track. This entry can be challenging, as often a 45 to 60 degree intercept is required and it takes practice and good judgment to know when to roll out of this intercept. Secondly, the offset entry sector, Sector 2. This is sometimes referred to as a teardrop entry due to its shape. 1. On reaching the fix, turn to track a 30-degree offset from the inbound track, often referred to as the gate. This is not a free air track, but a QDR from the fix. You can calculate this track by taking 30 from the outbound track in a right-hand hold or adding 30 in a left-hand hold. Here it would be 090-30 or 060 degrees. Step 2. On reaching this heading wings level, start a timer. Fly for one wind-corrected minute. 3. At the end of the minute, turn to intercept the inbound course. Last is Sector 3. The direct entry sector. On reaching the fix, simply turn outbound in the direction of the hold. You are now in the hold. This may seem like the simplest entry, but it is the least precise. Large angles of entry compared to the inbound course can lead to you being very tight in the hold. There are ways to adjust for these extreme direct entries. More on this in another video. Here is a good way to visualize hold entries in the air. When you are tracking towards the fix, and only then, picture a horizontal line across the DI or HSI from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock. If it is a left-hand hold, push the left-hand side up 20 degrees. If it is a right-hand hold, push the right-hand side up 20 degrees. Now, drop a line down from the center. This recreates the geometry of the sectors on your heading indicator. The biggest sector is direct, the second biggest parallel, and the smallest offset. Whichever sector the inbound course of your hold lies in is the entry you must fly. Don't forget, 
If it's close between two, you have five degrees of leeway either side. In this case, flying a heading of 300 towards the fix, the inbound course of west is at the top of the DI in the direct sector. In summary, the hold entry sectors exist to establish the inbound track before turning outbound in the hold in the most efficient way. Three are defined. One, parallel. Two, offset. Three, direct. The entry you fly is based solely on your heading arriving at the fix. Five degrees leeway is allowed between sectors either side. Allowance needs to be made for wind and heading and timing. More on this in another video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this or found it helpful, please like and subscribe. If you would like to know more, let us know in the comments what video you would like to see next. This has been Good Flying, Made Easy.